Hey, this is Harold Nixon with HaroldNixon.com, and today I'm uh, doing this video in response to a gentleman who uh, was curious about um, uh, a video I have here, Cubase 4 exporting selected tracks. He said he had uh, Cubase LE4, and he doesn't have all the uh, export uh, options in the export tab. So uh, I've loaded uh, Cubase LE4 up here on my computer, and hopefully I'm going to show you how to do this. Uh, I'm going to show you two methods, and hopefully one of them will work for you. So let's get started. Uh, let's go. I've already got a Q, uh, uh, project open here in Cubase LE4. Um, of course, you would already probably have been mixing on it a little bit yourself, uh, even though I know, uh, by the way, this gentleman is trying to export them uh, to have another of his friends uh, mix it for him. So you would have your, you know, whatever you stuff uh, had on your mixer. Let's say you had some EQs and whatever. But uh, this first message I'm going to show you is uh, we'll start by zero on the board so you can click this uh, button here on the board and we'll say reset all and it resets everything the pans to center the uh, faders the utility clears all the EQs all that kind of stuff so um, and of course you wouldn't want to disable the read and write uh, when you're doing this as well so then the next thing we would do is uh, solo the first track. What we're going to do is we would export each of these individually is what we're going to uh, with this method. Uh, so we would um, solo the first track so it's going to be bass. I'm going to go to File, Export, Audio Mix Now. And I would name it here, which I've already got it uh, typed in. I would choose the path I want to save these files to. I choose the file format. Uh, of course, the output source. Uh, that you would have if you had a uh, interface that had a ton of them installed on and you needed a particular one but most of the time serial outs what most people are going to use uh, this is a mono file so I want to keep mono uh, export checked uh, and of course you would have your sample rate at whatever you recorded at or whatever you wanted to send him um, if, if you had uh, let's say a set of overheads or um, a keyboard or whatever that uh, you'd recorded on one channel that was stereo you would uncheck mono export because you, of course you would want to keep that in intact uh, but other than that um, everything else would be the same uh, we would go ahead and hit export but I'm not going to do that just to show you here so we would have that exported then we would do the next one the exact same way we'd unsolo that one solo the next one this would be base 2 file export audio mix down I would call that base 2 it would probably be in the same path. Uh, all this stuff would be the same. I'd hit export and so on and so on. We'd go down the list and do each of these, export each one of these, and then we would uh, mail him the CDs that were in that uh, uh, folder that we saved or email them or whatever you're going to do, upload them. Okay, the next method I'm going to do is um, I'm going to start out with this uh, little drawing tool here. Uh, so I right click and choose the draw tool. I'm going to draw. You can see uh, this file starts out uh, ahead of these. This is a count. And I wanted all these files to start at the same time. That's why I'm doing this. So I'm going to draw these in here. Now I'm going to choose the object select and I want to move these all the way back to the left to be flush. Okay, so we have all those. So every track that we have will have some sort of audio all the way to the left that's what we want even though there's no really audio in that uh, it's a region we want it all the way to the left now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select every one of the regions uh, in my uh, project here so I'm gonna highlight all these you can see they're all selected red of course you would probably have some edits and stuff this one's pretty plain Jane here but um, after you have them all highlighted you're gonna go to audio bounce selection and it asks, do you want to replace the events? And I want to say yes. Okay, now what it's going to do, it's going to replace all these regions into just clean WAV files that all line up together at the same point. You can see here, we don't have that, uh, it's not uh, peeled over anymore. Uh, so that way, whenever you send him these files, he can just open them up in any DAW. Um, I'm assuming uh, this gentleman's not using Cubase, because otherwise you could literally just... Uh, grab the, uh, burn the folder uh, of the uh, project and mail it to him that way. But it, he's opening this up in another DAW. So, anywho, we've got all those now. 
Now the next thing uh, I want you to notice is the file names here. Okay, that's what we're going to look for. So we would see bottom base 01-01. Now let's open up the pool here. And you can see that's one we're using it. It's right there. We see one. So that we know that one's the bounce down version. Uh, we can see the project folder this is saved in. So my documents and my name Harold Nixon. Uh, and I've got it in crap media audio and uh, what we would do is if you wanted to make this easy so that you could see these uh, I would recommend doing this uh, not that what I would recommend is that you rename these so like a base let's say export okay and so you can see it uh, change the name here and what we'll do is we'll go through and do all these so we would say base 202 Three. So I would rename this one something like that and so on and I would go down the list and the reason I rename those is so that I could easily uh, distinguish those so what I would do is I would know that these are in this uh, folder here so we could go to start button my documents crap audio and now here we see them right here Here's the two files right here. So we could, uh, we after we went through and did them all, we would just go ahead and copy all those and send them to him. So that would be the easiest way of just getting raw tracks, uh, two different methods, to him. You can just choose whichever is the best. Different ones are better for dis different situations, depending on how much work you got involved in it. But um, I hope that helps, and I appreciate you watching. Any other questions anybody has uh, uh, in my free time, I'd be happy to try to. Uh, help you out there if I can. So uh, visit HaroldNixon.com and I thank you for watching. Have a good one.